What's good? It is Ronan the Traveler. And I got a question in the comments. It said, brother, out of all the places you could have traveled, why did you pick the Dominican Republic? Let's get into it. Before I came to the Dominican Republic, I was supposed to come with a few more brothers. We had sit together and we had all planned things out. And you know how this go when you're trying to do things with other people. You never know how it's gonna go. Here's the thing. One guy had just came out of a divorce. You had me, empty nesters. I had broke up with my longtime girlfriend and we had another brother name was E. Now E had found out his woman was cheating on him. Now we had been new, we talked it over with him, so we told him, look man, let that go, let's go travel. We all agreed, it ended up being Santo Domingo. I kind of, you know, always wanted to go to Dominican Republic, but I, for some reason, was feeling Ethiopia. I said, man, let's go to Ethiopia or Cape Verde, and then hit the Dominican Republic. But they pushed Sasua or uh, Santo Domingo. So I'm like, yeah, well, okay, let's do it. I got my ticket. Everybody else told me they got their ticket. When it's finally time to go, nobody's ready. They all, they, everybody stopped at one time. I end up going to Santo Domingo all alone. Now, here's the crazy story. Oh, here's the crazy part about that story now. Now, I've been in Dominican Republic now for a while, going back and forth. So, my homeboy E has now, he found out about the woman and everything and he deleted himself while I was on the island. It was hard because I tried to get him to leave, man. He was depressed. All he can see is this woman. And I would talk to him on the phone, on, on the WhatsApp, and I'm like, dude, you need to come over here. Why are you worrying about the, and I'm not trying to disparage the woman. She didn't even look good. Even me, when I look back at my ex-girlfriend who I was with, I laugh now, I'm like, you know what, man, she has an old face, and I'm like, but I'm like you know, you'd be surprised how much your life would change if you just leave, you know, and I'm glad I made that decision to leave, and I'm, I'm sorry my friend, you know, lost his life over that, but a lot of men suffer depression in the United States, man, because you're dealing with many things, whether it's on a racial level, uh, dating, that's why all these guys going make towel and man, you don't need to go blue pill, any of that. You need to go blue book and get that passport, man, and rethink your life. I'll tell anybody, you need to travel. I don't care what you're into. If you want to go to Thailand, go to Thailand. You want to go to the motherland, go to the motherland. You want to go to Japan, Europe. There is a whole world out there. You don't have to be depressed. And these are the reasons why people should travel. And once you start traveling, you will see all the stress that you have on you release. I remember when I got back from that first trip, man, when I tell you I was a different person, and let me tell you the moment things changed for me. Uh, I was in Santo Domingo, and this is, this is a crazy story I'm about to tell you. So, I'm in, I'm in Santo Domingo for the first time. I'm dating, you know, a few chicks, just having fun. And I remember, I'm in my lobby of the place I'm staying at, uh, Marina, Marina Colonial. It's right across the street from Zona Colonial. I'm staying there. And me and the night guy, chilling and we talking, I was buying beer and we're talking and two chicks walk in. And I'm talking about both was bad. And I glanced at one and I tell him, man, she was, she's gorgeous. And you know, that was that. Next day, I'm in my room. I'm in there tired. The next day was Sunday. I'm, I'm tired, I'm wild from, you know, partying, going out, having a good time with these chicks. My phone rings in my room and um, I answered and he said, hey man, somebody's in the lobby for you. I go downstairs to my lobby room and it's that chick that I said was pretty and she's sitting there but 
I never called her to come meet up with me or anything. So I'm talking to him in English and he's talking to her in Spanish. She's like, I'm like, look, I didn't call her to come do nothing. The chick starts to cry out of nowhere. I mean, she's like crying and she's kind of making a little bit of scene. And they start, you know, Dominicans are passionate. He starts to fuss at her in Spanish real loud. You know the man, oh, no, no. she's going hard. I'm like, well, hold on, hold on. I just want everything to stop. I tell the chick, you know what? Mommy, come on. You you come with me. I'm like, bend it, I'm done. I'm telling her, whatever. Come on, come on, come on. I'm saying all the wrong words in Spanish, trying to think of what come mean. And so she come with me back to the room and I'm tired, but I got everything locked up. So I ain't really sweating everything in my safe and everything. So I fall asleep and I sleep for a little while. When I wake up, this is this is crazy what I'm about to tell you. And I know dudes them already experienced. I just never had experienced this. When I wake up, my clothes that were in the closet are all ironed. She had ironed everything. Shorty had cooked the little food I had in there. The room was spotless. And she laying in the bed with nothing on. And that morning, I, I, when I wake up, I'm like, whoa, that was it for me. There was no more dating in America. My whole life had shifted. The old person I was had disappeared. And it's crazy. I mean, that was a good experience for me. It changed. It was like a, I don't want to mix religion, but it's like a baptism. I had to explain that feeling. Like I was, I went in one person and came back another person, man. That that situation had changed me. And I had dealt with many chicks, but and I had never had, had even having real girlfriends in America. I had many girlfriends. I've been dating women since I was young, but that kind of experience I had and it changed me. You know, and some of this stuff is fake, you know. She play long game, you're trying to get the money out, you're trying to it just it wasn't none of that. She was just a cool chick that liked me. Sometimes people like, you know. And I'm I'm different. I'm I'm a little dude. I'm I'm kind of dude that's, you know, I ain't no street cat, but I got tattoos. I I know how stuff go. go. So a chick like that, people got what they find attractive. She was attracted to me, you know, because the same things kind of apply a little bit. If you kind of a lame dude, you still can get chicks over here. But if you're lame, you're lame, and you know. But most dudes I, I've met, they got a little swag to them. They know how to handle their business. So. That's when things had changed for me, man. So I'm telling everybody, man, get your passport. You don't have to be angry with these women for one with these Let them have it. We had this old thing in New Orleans, this old commercial, say, let them have it, let them have it. So that's what I believe in. Let them have it. I live my life. I try to be happy, man. That's what it's about, man. Be happy, be positive, travel, man. Remember, and join the Facebook group, man. Join the Facebook group and letting it build up. I've been in, I've been in the boondocks, man. So I haven't been on there yet because I've been in La Vega, man. Dudes, you have to travel to La Vega, man. It's crazy. They're everywhere around there. We went to go see some of my girl family. She wouldn't even let me go to the store, man. So this is just me checking in, letting you know, man, to live your life. That's what we should be doing. Live your life and get out there. Travel, man. The world's waiting for you. I'm out.